Hey, how's it going, friends? Um, this is a, a new segment to supplement Indie Poop. Um, I don't know what it's going to be called. I think it's just going to be called uh, I Hate What You Like or something along those lines. Uh, and we're going to start off with Sonic fucking Adventure 2. Now, uh, just to clarify, I'm probably one of the biggest Sonic fans on the planet. I have all the stuffed animals. Yep. I'm a total fucking nerd. I have way too much Sonic the Hedgehog porn. Um, but I hate this game with a passion. I hate this game so much that that if killing my grandmother would stop this game from ever being created, I'd do it in a second. In a fucking second. Why? Well, let me show you. Uh, first things first, music's pretty badass, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and that's probably the only cool thing about this game. Um, Sonic Adventure 1 came out, uh, after Mario 64 had been going for a little bit, and they sort of gave a cool 3D, uh, 3D game experience. Uh, so Sega was like, oh fuck, let's release Sonic Adventure, and we'll start cashing in on this shit, and it was amazing, it was great. There was no snowboarding on the road and knocking taxis 500 feet ahead of you. But innovation, right? Ugh. This, this, when this game came out, this is when I started getting nervous. Because this was pretty much the last nail in Sonic's coffin. I mean, his career was pretty much over at this point. Ugh. I mean, the controls aren't great, but they're not impossible. Whee! And it's still pretty looking. I mean, it still looks like Sonic. Decent textures for the Dreamcast. Um, ooh, hello, little chow. Oh, God, I don't want your help with anything. Don't talk to me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah, giant robot out of nowhere. Fuck you and your tippy-toeing. Ooh, and I got a red vial. Whatever. Back to being fast, because that's what hedgehogs do. Fast is be fast. Ugh. Yeah. Spin. Spin. There we go. Nope. Do I have to be further away? Maybe I have to be further away. What? Nope. What? Chow, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Press. What? Oh yeah, that's right, I have to pick him up and throw him through the box. These specific boxes, um, so I'll come up to some boxes later and I can just spin dash through them, no problem. Whee! Oh, nope. Yeah, grinding. Bumping and grinding. Whee! Ah, why the fuck did he turn around like that? Nope, don't want those rings. Fuck that shit. I got the places to go, bitches. Listen to the song. He tell you the truth. Um, but anyway, my point was, around this time, Sonic really started to lose his sense of speed. I mean, look, look at this level so far. You just sort of going upstairs, and then you get to grind down something, and then slow down and go up some more stairs. Try to kill a robot. He's invincible, I guess. Don't fucking care. Then got another little hill. And... Oh, I did spin jump. Oh, I got stuck on the sidewalk. Do you, I got stuck on the fucking sidewalk. Why can't Sonic run on a sidewalk? It doesn't make any sense, game developers. I shouldn't be running full speed and then instantly stop just because I barely nicked an invisible wall. Especially with a Sonic game. Especially with a Sonic game. Oh, I almost made it up. I will I will show you game. Yeah, that's fucking right. You can't stop me. Ugh. Um Okay. I uh, I don't remember. I want the chow key. How do I get it? Oh there we go. Chow key got to me. Set you free, something, yeah, other cheesy but luck lyrics. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go Sonic. Let's kick the shit out of this level finally. Oh, I brought it straight down to Boomer. Only cool moment in this level. Ugh, let me grind up. Yeah. Yes, that is how physics works. Uh, I hate his spin jump so much. Because it's supposed to automatically lock onto things, and by automatically lock onto things, it means you'll spin dash into a hole and die. Uh, this camera's awful. It, it won't stay in the position that I move it. Uh, jump! No! <laughs> I push! I push the jump button! I push the jump button! I don't understand! Gotta go fast! It's the only way this game's any fun Is if you don't hang around to interact with the environment Cause it's poorly designed uh, What am I supposed to do there? It looks like I'm supposed to be able to swing on those bars, but... That is impossible Oh my- Oh my god, please just- oh, Did you see that? Okay I tried to spin jump him once I would clear the mist. I spin jump again directly at him, and I sort of nudged him and went around him, did no damage. Tried again, fell in a hole. And that's the problem with this. I mean, Sonic Adventure 1 had a little bit of that problem, where the, the jumping was a little buggy, platform collision kind of sucked a little bit. But, I mean, this was on the Dreamcast. It was a relatively new system. This was a new IP for Sega, like taking the Sonic platformer and trying to turn it into sort of an RPG story-driven game. So, you know what? I can forgive him for that. This, no fucking excuse. No fucking excuse. But it wouldn't be Sega if they didn't constantly add game-breaking bugs, you know? Now I'm talking about you, Bayonetta, for the PlayStation 3, and your 10 frames a second gameplay. Ugh. Is he dodging me? If, if he's dodging me, that's sort of cool, but I don't think he is. Whee! Uh, crouching does nothing. Why am I not going fast? Look how... Ugh. Well, up some more stairs, because I love climbing stairs. Oh, I'm not supposed to go in there? How do I get past? I have no idea. Or, I honestly don't. Um, what? There's the... I got a pig sheet! What do you want me to do, chow? What am I supposed to do? Uh, break it for me. Nope. How do I go down here? Oh, it's death. Okay, this is gonna be a really short, uh, really short playthrough since I'm gonna die a hundred gazillion die. I swear to fucking god I press jump, I swear to god. Um, but yeah, see, that's my problem with this game. Just, the, the collision detection is atrocious sometimes. Playing Sonic Adventure 2 is habit forming. Don't turn off. Don't turn off or Sega will come and murder your family. You will love Sonic 2 and and not complain. Ah, uh, what am I supposed to do here? It says pass under. Uh, can I slide? Is there a slide option? I don't remember there being a slide, but maybe there is. I'll just try every button. What? Oh, I can roll. Rolling! Oh my god, holy shit, stay away from me! Ah, this is sort of cool! This is sort of cool! I'm actually enjoying myself briefly! Ah, stay away, truck! I do not want your services! Oh my god, oh my god! Spin, spin! Get out of there, escape! Hurry! Hurry, Sonic! Hurry! It is the Jeepers Creepers truck! He wants to steal my fast legs! Huh. Well, here we go, Chaos Cola and Sonic Team and Mr. Chao over here. How do I whistle? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What? See, I don't remember being able to whistle or roll or... I 
punched somehow. I know I did a punch, but I don't know how I did that. Oh, I can... I can roll and then slide. Guess how often you use this gameplay element? Zero. Zero times. Yes! I completed one level of Sonic Adventure 2 without choking myself to death. And see, I mean, this level's not great, but this Barely is the best, best level you will probably play on Sonic Adventure 2. You know why? Because the rest of the fucking game, you plays Dr. Robotnik and Amy and, and Big the fucking Cat again, and it's just really, really slow. Really slow. Because none of them are fast-moving characters. Like, Dr. Robotnik gets this cool, like, metal walking robot thing that moves slow as shit. Making it not cool at all. And Shadow... Shadow plays exactly like fucking Sonic. Exactly like fucking Sonic. So I don't even know why they have him as a separate character. Honestly. And I guess in this demo mode I can only play the City Escape. So, um... I might have to buy this game just to play through it and talk about how much I dislike it. But yeah, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, it can suck my balls.